Panthers take on your hometown Hopkinton Hillers. The Tri-Valley League is committed to the highest ideals of sportsmanship and establishing a healthy environment for interscholastic competition. The league will not tolerate negative statements or actions directed towards competitors, game officials, or fans in attendance. Such actions include taunting, trash talking, and the berating of players, coaches, and officials. The Tri-Valley League has adopted a zero tolerance policy. Thank you for your cooperation. Before tonight's game, the Hopkinton Hillers would like to take a moment to acknowledge Holliston seniors who will be presented with a carnation from a member of the Hopkinton team. First, number one, senior, Sage Grant. Number 15, senior, Morgan Perry. And number 30, senior, Emily Zeraski. Congratulations to Holliston Seniors. Now we'd like to take a moment to honor our wonderful seniors and their parents and families for the commitment and dedication that they have exhibited to the Girls Lacrosse program over the past four years. Thank you for all that you have done to make lacrosse a fun and positive experience here at HHS. First, we'd like to call out number 23, goalie Amanda Hasbrook, accompanied by mom Andrea, dad Mark, and sister Lexi. Next, we'd like to call out senior captain, number 13, a midfielder, Maggie Dolan, accompanied by mom Jody, dad George, sister Jamie, and nephew Caden. Next up, we have Megan Walsh, number 11, a defender, accompanied by mom Kelly and dad Steve. Next up, we have senior captain number 10, Beth Kohler, accompanied by mom Sue and dad John. Lastly, we'd like to call out team manager Tatiana Markovich, accompanied by mom Amy, dad Nikolai, sister Katya, and brother Nikolai. Congratulations to all our seniors. Thank you so much for all that you've done and we wish you nothing but the best.
Let's give those seniors one more round of applause. Congratulations. And now for tonight's starters, for the Holliston Panthers, number three, junior, Jada Shaughnessy. Number seven, junior, Grace Inman. Number eight, junior, Kaylin Trombley. Number nine, junior, Emma Sawyers. Number 13, junior, Lauren Sally. Number 14, sophomore, Margaret Fitzgerald. Number 15, senior, Morgan Perry. Number 16, junior, Audrey Givens. Number 17, junior, Lily Trainer. Number 18, junior, Abha Atabale. Number 24, sophomore, Audrey Stroff. And number 30, senior, Emily Zerowski. The Panthers are coached by Emma Decker. And now for your hometown, Hopkinton Hillers. Starting at midfield, a junior, number two, Sydney McDonald. Starting at midfield, a sophomore, number three, Cammie McDonald. Starting at midfield, a freshman, number four, Tiffany McEulis. Starting at attack, a freshman, number six, Lillian York. Starting at attack, a junior captain, number seven, Lydia Rudden. Starting at attack, a junior, number eight, Natalie Calkins. Starting on defense, a freshman, number nine, Sarah Bernardo. Starting on defense, a senior captain, number 10, Beth Kohler. Starting on defense, a senior, number 11, Megan Walsh. Starting at midfield, a sophomore, number 12, Olivia O'Connor. Starting at midfield, a senior captain, number 13, Maggie Dolan. And starting in goal, a senior, number 23, Amanda Hasbrook. The Hillers are coached by Caitlin Barry. Now, would you all please rise, remove your caps, and direct your attention to the flag as we honor our country with the singing of our national anthem from members of our girls lacrosse program.
Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Hopkinton Hillers Girls Varsity Lacrosse. We are underway between the Hillers and Holliston. The Panthers with possession right now in Hillers territory, looking to put the first points on the board. It is senior night. You just saw the introduction of all the Hillers seniors. Certainly a whole lot of great talent in this year's senior class. Tom Nappy on the call, alongside Alex to bring you some Hopkinton Hillers girls varsity lacrosse. Bob Hamilton on camera. As the Hillers right now working in Holliston territory. Around the net goes Tiffany McCullis. Around the arch they go. Now up behind the net is Cameron McDonald. And Hiller's rushing in, we have a goal. That was Tiffany McCullis. Goal by number four, freshman Tiffany McCullis. The freshman gets the Hillers on the scoreboard. A one nothing lead. for the face-off. You'll have to excuse me, folks. This is my uh, first lacrosse game and uh, just rushed over here from softball, so certainly a busy day at Hillers Sports. But things looking good on senior night so far for the Hillers girls, but here comes Holliston. Going across midfield, Lily Trainer. We get a stoppage here. I believe uh, offsides was the call, Alex, if I'm not mistaken. We'll take a look at the TVL standings in just a moment. The Hillers girls are going to be heading to the postseason. Around the net, looking for a goal here. It's a good defense by the Hillers as they boxed out Lauren Saley. Now Hopkinton with possession coming down the far side. Here's Lydia Rudden. It's our first ever lacrosse broadcast here on HCAM. Happy to be with you on this beautiful evening at field three. A one nothing lead for the Hillers. Just about three minutes into action here. And we'll have a stoppage here as Natalie Calkins receives the pass. And there's a goal, it looks like, for the Hillers. I know we had a whistle just before, so I don't think. That'll count, and here we go. Big opportunity here for Hopkinton. It's going to be Olivia O'Connor with the ball right now. Rushing in, the shot, and there's a goal. 2 nothing Hillers. The sophomore, Olivia O'Connor. Goal by number 12, Olivia O'Connor. Hopkinton. 8-8 eight eight on the season, so if they win here today, that would clinch a playoff spot. They lost their last matchup against a tough Westwood team. Halston's 10-7. They've won two straight. They're heading to the postseason. So far, a great start for the Hillers girls here on senior night. Halston with possession, rushing into Hiller's territory. It's 
So, so far a great start by the Hillers. Two goals on the board. Tiffany McCullis and also Olivia O'Connor getting the Hillers on the board, but now Holliston looking to strike back. Around the net, on the left side of the arc. Good defense there by the Hillers. As they completely boxed out Lily Trainer, who's one of the top offensive players on Holliston. Lily Trainer with possession here off the whistle. There's a goal, two to one. The junior gets Halston in the Goal scorebook. Goal by number 17, Lily Trainer of Halston. Make sure to purchase those 50-50 raffle tickets that are being sold during today's game. Maggie Dolan on the face-off here for the Hillers. Cameron McDonald was trying to pick it up, but getting to it first was Holliston's Kaylin Trombley. Tom Nappy, Alex Walton on the broadcast. Bob Hamilton on camera. And Alex is uh, our lacrosse expert. And Alex, I understand you have some experience uh, playing lacrosse. And you haven't seen it since uh, they picked up the pace here in the high school lacrosse a little bit with some rule changes. What are you thinking so far? I don't know. I'm a little rusty at the moment. Just trying to catch up. Well, she'll be caught up soon enough in the Hillers. Catching back up with Hollison, another goal. And this time it's Natalie Calkins. That's gonna make it a three to one Hillers lead. I believe it was Calkins who had that goal. We'll see what the official word is. Aaron, it might have been Lillian York, a freshman. Goal by number six, Lillian York. And it was indeed Lillian York, the freshman. So that makes it three to one Hopkinton. Now here come the Hillers being very aggressive today. Sydney McDonald coming up the far side. McDonald pass out in front. Top of the circle now. Rushing in Cameron McDonald. Pass back up to McCulis. And there is around the horn they go. Now on the right side. And that shot just off the mark by Lillian York, who was looking for her second goal of the day. And as we Hollison rushes up the near side, we get and I had a play call as that was Aubrey Givens with possession. Panthers with possession. On the right of the net, that's Grace Inman. Pass out in front and get a whistle here. This is going to give Lauren Sally an opportunity for the Panthers. Coming in from the right wing and... Great goal. Oh my goodness. It looks like it was very well defended by the Hillers goaltender. She was able to put a stop to that one. Nicely done by Amanda Hasbro, the senior goalkeeper. Score remains three to one. Jimmy McCulis looking to intercept there. And we're gonna get a whistle, some contact between Elizabeth Kohler and Lily Trainer. 
It does appear that the Hillers will get possession, and they do. That was the right call there, as Trainer got the hit on Kohler. Hillers rushing in, opportunity here. And that one is saved, and then the secondary shot out of play. Lydia Rudden got there with the first shot, and Lillian York try to pick it up. Hillers will inbound from behind the net. Excuse me, Holliston inbounds. The Hillers were out of play. Here comes Lauren Saley. Picked up by Sydney McDonald. A minute down to the goal. Hopkinton quick to rush in. That's Cameron McDonald with possession. Here's Tiffany McCullis looking for a shot. She'll give it up to her right. And the screen over to Olivia O'Connor. Got really good teamwork around the fan. Oh, wow. uh, they got really good teamwork around the fan. Hillers are really good about passing it off and then cutting in for the goal. Yeah, they're certainly uh, moving it around nicely, it seems. Behind the net now. Now out in front, Cameron McDonald, you gotta look out for her, for her. she's a sharpshooter. Loose ball on the left of the net, Lillian York trying to pick it up for the Hillers, able to brush it out. Hopkinton keeps possession as Olivia O'Connor was there. Out in front, and there's another Hillers goal. That time Cameron McDonald, the sophomore, is able to strike, it's a 4-1 game. How about that one, Alex? Uh, that was a nice goal there. Yeah, they cut in really well. In the middle for the Hillers, it's Maggie Dolan. I always find this super intense, trying to flick the ball towards your team. Dolan with possession. Goal by Cammie Double team down the near side. Pass over to Sydney McDonald. Sydney McDonald going up the far sideline. And we'll get a whistle here. Looks like she stepped out. They reset, pass over to Cameron McDonald. Setting up on the fan again. There's Dolan pass over to her left to Rudden. Now up behind the net. Rushing in here. And another Hiller's goal. I believe that was Maria Vasington, the sophomore with goal that one. Number six, Lillian York. Excuse me, it was actually Lillian York with her second goal of the day. The freshman striking once again. And we're gonna get a timeout call, 14-10 left. The Hillers leading Holliston five to one. It's Girls Varsity Lacrosse on HCAM. Holliston with the timeout needing to regroup. A 5-1 lead for the Hillers. 14-10 left to play. Here in the first quarter. So it looks like they've decided to double team number three straight off the bat. Maggie Dolan, certainly a player to watch for the Hillers. Holliston has been keeping a close eye on her throughout this game so far. But you have some of the younger up and coming stars striking for the Hillers and Tiffany McCullis with a goal, Lillian York with a pair. And then the sophomore Cameron McDonald and also sophomore Olivia O'Connor. 5-1 lead for the Hillers, but here comes Holliston looking to get back on the scoreboard. Behind the net is Jada Shaughnessy. 
Pass out to the right of the arc to Aubrey Givens. Out in front now, some traffic, and it was briefly dropped. And the Hillers are able to get to it. Audrey Stock was boxed out trying to get to the loose ball. And the Hillers have it. Oh, good catch. That was a nice catch there by McCullis. Holliston pretty much putting all their defenders out in front to try to keep any Hillers traffic from getting in the interior. Olivia O'Connor had possession, gave it up to her left. Hopkinson trying to find a way in the arc. Oh, it looks like they're... Oh, nope. Up behind the net to McCullis, oh, out good. in front. There's another goal. Olivia O'Connor, the sophomore, striking for her second time today. Goal by number 12, Olivia O'Connor. A six to one Hillers lead, 12.48 left to go. Back to the center we go. Maggie Dolan up against Lily Trainer. This is exactly what Hopkinton wanted to do, start this game off. Be aggressive and find opportunities. Austin with possession, briefly dropped and she can't get a hold of it. That ball's still on the ground, coming away with it. It looked like McDonald had it briefly and now it's still on the ground. We'll get the whistle here. Trombley unable to get to it. Face off once again. Whistle will go. Halston with possession. Panthers is going to cut in. Uh. Halston getting some bodies in the arc, trying to create an open opportunity. Miller's defenders have been fantastic so far today. And we get a whistle here. What's the call here, Alex? I'm not sure. I think somebody checked somebody. Don't quote me on that. Here comes Hopkinson. Oh. That was another stick issue. Olivia O'Connor with possession for the Hillers. Working against Lily Trainer. O'Connor, top of the arc. Pass to her right now over to Calkins. Back to O'Connor now, over to Rudden. Oh. Now into the interior of the shot, and there's another goal for Lily in York. That is her third goal of the day. Hillers have some brilliant shooters. They certainly do, they're right on target today. A 7-1 lead for the Hillers. Goal by number six, Lily in York. Lillian York scored the third goal for the Hillers, the fifth goal, and now the seventh. 11-10 left to go. in with possession. They have scored on just about every possession they have had so far today. I think there was only two possessions they didn't score on. It's McCulis pass over to the right of the net. And a McDonald. Back to Rudden. Up top over to O'Connor. The Calkins. Kind of seems like Halston just kind of lets the Hillers pass around the arc. They don't really, they're not really too aggressive at trying to intercept or steal it away. 
Yeah, well at this point, everybody just wants to dance around the fan and wait for that one cutter that's going to go for the circle and then just kind of converge on them. And getting in on the action there is Maggie Dolan, the senior, with the eighth Hiller's goal. goal. Right, number 13, senior Maggie Dolan. Maggie Dolan finding a lane and exploiting it with a nice shot. Eight to one, 10, 18 left to go. The Hillers keeping the pressure on. Alston just doesn't seem like they can keep up with them today. Certainly a beautiful day here for senior night. Temperatures in the high 60s, low 70s. Started off the day close to 80. Maggie Dolan with the steal there. Reaching up, pulling it down. Here she comes, look out. Hiller is on the attack. Dolan turns around, just over the net it goes. Looks like it's gonna be Hiller's ball probably. Yep. We'll have the inbound from behind the net. Down the arc they go. Over to O'Connor, and now back to the corner. To Aculis. Here's Dolan. Maggie Dolan over to Rudden. Rudden trying to get to it. It was knocked down by a defender. Hillers maintained possession. That was a nice pickup by Lily York. Maggie Dolan with the pass to her right. Up top we go to Cameron McDonald. Cameron looking for the shot here. That's good. And that is going to be a save, I believe, for Holliston. Or did that one go in, Alex? I think that one went in. I think it did. Wow, you're right. Well, the goaltender was angled the right way. It looked like she was going to get in there in time, but Cameron McDonald snuck it by her for the ninth Hiller's goal, a 9-1 lead. 9.09 left to go. Seems every minute the Hillers are just scoring a goal. Yeah, it's fantastic. I have to say I'm also enjoying the view of the JV baseball game from here. You got kind of that center field uh, view. You can see the strike zone pretty good from here. The Hillers are dominating on senior night so far. A 9-1 lead here in this Girls Varsity Lacrosse matchup. Also today, the Hillers girls softball team won by way of the mercy over Ashland, 16-4 in five innings. Holliston now with possession. Panthers trying to be a little more aggressive here. They have some work to do if they want to get back into this game. Here the Hillers team is great at double teaming those attackers. Yeah, they're not letting anybody near the net. Down the arc they go. Over to the right corner. Aubrey Stock now up behind the net to Jada Shaughnessy. Out in front, all kinds of traffic. And Holliston's gonna get a goal here. It looked like Jada Shaughnessy able to net the second Holliston goal of the day. The junior getting in on the action. 8.02 left to go. That's what Holliston needed. Goal by number three, junior Jada Shaughnessy. Maggie Dolan up against Lily Trainer. That is picked up by Trainer. Here she comes. Lily Trainer gets by one defender, looking for the shot. She is knocked to the ground. We get a whistle. I think that whistle is going to be for the contact. Lauren Saley knocked to the ground. Big opportunity here for Holliston. Maggie Fitzgerald. 
Gerald with possession. Here's Maggie Fitzgerald, a shot, and that That's is good. in. Sophomore able to net the third Halston goal. Nine goal to by three. Number 14, Maggie Fitzgerald. Halston working on a bit of a comeback here, and they have possession once again. Here comes the Panthers. This is what they're known for, these quick comebacks. They have played from behind quite a few times this season. Still a long way to go left in this matchup. Up around the net, pass out in front. Panthers, they seem like they just like to create pandemonium in front of the net and then sneak someone in to take a shot. Yeah, you can see that they create that fan thing that the Hillers are so great at, but then as soon as someone cuts in, everybody just falls into the middle of the goal circle. Audrey Stock on the entry for Holliston. Boxed out Lily Trainer. They don't want to let her too far in. That shot over the net. Out it goes. Alston on the entry. Loose ball. It's picked up by Panther. Able to rush to it was Olivia Givens. Trombley with possession. Up behind the net. Lily Trainer looking for an open man. Every time they set the fan, as soon as one person cuts, it's like every member of the team cuts right after them. Just looking for that break. Defenders just swarming the front of that net, and here comes Maggie Dolan stealing it away. Maggie Dolan, the pass down over to Lydia Rudden. Rudden into the attacking zone, pass to her right, gets away a little bit from McCullis. Oh, it's off. Yeah, she was unable to get to it in time. Looks like is just going to run it up the field. No, no. Here comes Halston. Oh, dropped. Stolen back by the Hillers. It looks like Lydia Rudden was able to get in there, make some noise. Down the near side, Cameron McDonald. McDonald with, still with possession, takes it to the left of the arc. Pass up top to Rudden. Now that's over to Olivia O'Connor. Up behind the net, two Calkins. Out of the left of the arc. Dolan. Out of Rudden. Hiller's working the exterior, trying to find a lane. Halston really sticking to them now. That one is going to get away. Oh, almost. Stopped Still just on. before the sideline. Olivia O'Connor able to pick it up. 9-3 lead, 3.38 left to go. Ooh. And there is another goal for Hopkinton. Lydia Rudden striking. With 3.35 left in the first half, a 10-3 lead for the Hillers. Lights starting to come on here at field three. As 
as the sun begins to set. Of course, this is the uh, great time of the spring where it stays light out till about 8.30, 9 o'clock almost. Here comes the Hillers. Nice work by Maggie Dolan. Great passing down the field. Yeah, their passing has been outstanding. Out oh, in front. So close. Maggie Dolan. Just really looking for a shot there. Looks like it's going off. Yep. That'll play it goes. Yep. Alston will have the entry. Look out for 17. Oh, no, 14's making a break Ooh, some it. contact there, looks like. Was Anna Siegel with possession for Holliston. Anna Siegel going to try to work her way upfield. She's going to pass the 20. Oh, no, she got pushed off field. There was some uh, good checking there by Kelly Title, the freshman. There's Anna Siegel once again, swarmed by Hillers. Out of play it goes. Hillers being extremely aggressive in their defense right now. It's really effective. There's Maggie Dolan. Drops it, but picks it right back up. Pass over to Lily York. Out of the right side corner. They're going to work their way all around the net. Picked up by Title. Pass over to Lydia Rudden. 139 and counting left to go in this first half. Spins around the defender looking for the shot there is Lily York. It's going to be Hiller's ball. Top of the arc to Olivia O'Connor. Now to Calkins. Here they could really benefit from moving more. Oh, oh, oh Hollison had it briefly, but the Hillers get it right back. Now looking for the shot, rushing in. Oh, Give it to the Holliston goalie. Yep, Panthers able to take it back. Less than a minute left. Goalie just looking for a free player. Oh. oh, take it from the goaltender. There's a Woo! shot and a goal. That was amazing. Natalie Calkins, the junior, schooling the goalkeeper. And that is the 11th Hillers goal of the day. First for Natalie Calkins. Sophie Ryan, the goalkeeper, did not see Calkins coming. She got right in her way, pulled that one down, and got the shot off. 11 to three, 49 seconds left. How about that quick snatch from Calkins? That was pretty impressive. It's fantastic. Rarely ever to get it straight off the goalie. Those of you just joining us, it's Hiller's Girls Varsity Senior Night for Girls Lacrosse. Tom Nappy, Alex Walton on the call, Bob Hamilton on camera. Good start to this one for the Hillers. 11-3 as we near the end of the first half. Here comes Halston. Get a whistle here. Panthers gonna keep possession. This is gonna be Kaylin Trombley, the sophomore. Looking for the shot. Rushes in, nicely done by the goaltender. What a save by Amanda Hasbro. She's had a couple of great saves so far for the Hillers. Halston getting possession here. Lily Trainer around the net. Out in front. It was touched by a defender, and the Hillers have it. Hannah Ionelli comes up with it. Coming down the far side is Sydney McDonald. Time quickly running out. Oh, we get a stoppage here as the Hillers tripped up. Some contact as. Falling to the ground there was Megan Walsh. 
clock stopped at three seconds. Killers have a couple of options just Killers to pass it possession. down. Killers with possession. Walsh gonna fire this one down. And there it is. An impressive start to this one for the Hillers. 11 to three is the score after one half of play. We'll take a timeout. You're tuned in to Hopkinton Girls Varsity Lacrosse on HCAM. Welcome back to field three as we get ready for the second half of this Hopkinton Hillers Girls Varsity Lacrosse senior night matchup with the Holliston Panthers. It is a it is a 11 to three lead for the Hillers. 25 minutes on the clock as Hopkinton tries to close it out and clinch a playoff spot. And we are ready to go. Tom Nappy, Alex Walton on the call. Bob Hamilton, our cameraman. As the wind's starting to pick up a little bit. A little bit chilly, but not too bad. Hiller is trying to establish possession. Here we go. It's Cameron McDonald. Hopkinton now working left to right across your screen. Over to the right corner there to Calkins. Up behind the net they go. Hillers like to move it around, throw that defense off. Find a lane, rush in, and get the shot off. That's what they've done all match long so far. It'd be nice to see them cut in a little more though. They like to throw it around. Nolan over to McDonald. So Alex, how many years did you play lacrosse? Uh, seven. Ah, so you know exactly what's going on. Kind of, the rules are a little different where I played, I think. So I don't want to like say something and be like, oh, no, that's actually how it's done here. Now, I know some of the rules have been changed in the recent past to speed up the game a little bit. It's made for a much nicer pace of play. Cameron McDonald just holding on to the ball on the top of the arc, looking for somewhere to go with it. I don't think the Hillers are in really any rush here with a nice, comfortable lead. Why rush the shot? Great feed, and it is well defended by the goaltender. It was a good shot by Kalkins, some good vision, but a great save. And we get a whistle. Well, this Hawson goalkeeper has certainly been busy. Maggie Dolan with possession, left of the arc. Up top, Dolan picks up the loose ball. Great feed inside Ooh, and goal. that's gonna be a goal. That was Lydia Rudden Lydia's with on her fire. second. And that makes it a 12 to three Hillers lead. Well, that is exactly what the Hillers wanted to do to start off this second half. This time in the center circle for the Hillers. It looks like it's Sydney McDonald, if I'm not mistaken. Against uh, Lily Tran. That was Karen McDonald, actually. Sydney and Cameron, the McDonald sisters. Oh, great dodging by 13. With possession is Sydney. Run to goal, there run she to comes. Go to goal, go to goal. Coming yes. in from the exterior. Oh. That was pushed out. Getting in the lane of Sydney McDonald was Lauren Saley. She's got a clear shot. Oh. Up behind the net it goes, loose ball, and we get a whistle. 
And it is going to be another entry, this time for Holliston. So Holliston able to get the turnover, a well needed turnover for the Panthers. As coming down is Emma Sawyers, whose ball picked right back up by the Hillers. Holliston, I don't think they're taking care of the ball very well, Alex. No, they keep dropping it right on the division line. Outside the arc, Lydia Rudden now up top to Lillian York, who is a sniper. You got to look out for her shot. She already has a couple goals today. And there's uh, Cameron McDonald. That'll draw a whistle, some contact. Big opportunity here. She's got a lot of Holliston on either side of her, though. Cameron is going to try to snipe this one right through. There it is. Nope. And it's still it's out in, in front. And then it's swiped in. I wasn't quite sure who got the last touch on that. I want to say it was Lily York. But that is going to make it, in any case, 13 to three Hillers. Well, the Hillers swarm the front of the net, put all kinds of traffic in front of the goaltender. And Halston just had no answer. Fighting for it, fighting for it. Oh, two there goes we down. There go. Yeah, look at that. Some good contact going on. Hillers have it once again. That's Maggie Dolan. Pass out in front and jumping up. That's a goal. The alley-oop, Natalie Calkins putting it right past the goalkeeper. An easy, easy goal for the junior. That's her second one today. 14 to three, and that clock's gonna keep moving due to the mercy rules. Miller's up by 11, the clock doesn't stop in the second half once you go up by 10 or more. And I don't think anybody expected this to be such a dominant matchup for the Hillers because this Holliston team they're playing, they're going to the postseason. They're a pretty good squad. They actually have a better record than the Hillers, so the Hillers girls shocking the Holliston Panthers so far today. What was that call on? Honestly. Here comes the Panthers with possession. Maggie Fitzgerald trying to put that one around the net. Looking where to go with it. Pass to the top of the left wing to Audrey Stock. Stock rushing and trying to spin around the defender. Top she goes to Trombley. Trombley over to Trainer. They want to get Lily Trainer the ball. She's the sharpshooter on the Panthers. Just missed a great cut in by 24. Spinning in front of a defender, trying to box out the defender, work her way in front of the net. She drops the ball and we get a whistle. Opportunity here for Holliston. Lily Trainer gonna try to sneak this one by. Oh. Round the defender, the shot, it's wide to the left. And it looks like it might have been deflected by the goalkeeper as well like into they, Hasbro. They called it before she took the shot though, so it doesn't matter who's closest to it. She gets to retake it. Well, here you go, another opportunity. Lily Trainer rushing in. Missed. And it's a miss. Trying to catch it before he goes off. At a play. Too late. That's a tough break for Holliston. How is that Holliston's ball? Here comes Maggie Fitzgerald. Pass over to the right side to Kaylin Trombley. Working around the top of the arc. Trying to find a lane. The Hillers defenders have been fantastic so far today. It looks like we're gonna get a contact whistle here, a little pushing going on. Let's go, 
Kalen Trombley with an opportunity. Here comes Trombley. The defenders rush oh, in, and in. it's too late. The goal goes through. That is the fourth Holliston goal of the day. A 14 to 4 Hillers lead. Goal by number eight, Kalen 17 Trombley. minutes and counting left in the second half. Clock continues on with the 10 point lead. Hillers led 11 to three after the first half. And they've outscored Holliston in the second half, three to one. Here comes Holliston. Trying to make it a game. Coming in from up top, boxed out by Dolan, but some contact gonna draw the whistle as Jadis Shaughnessy rushed in. Here comes Holliston, nicely done by the goalkeeper. What a save by Hasbro. Amanda Hasbro has been fantastic in net for the Hiller. She's had Absolutely. some incredible saves. It's only going to be dangerous to be that far out if someone decides to go and try and take her one. And the Hillers, I mean, they're in no rush here. Keep that clock moving. That's what they want to do, pick up the W. Amanda Hasbro just hanging on to it, waiting until someone gets very open. And there's Cameron McDonald. Great passing down the field. McDonald feeding Elizabeth Kohler. Oh, dropped, dropped. Holliston really, trainer met to... up with Kohler along the sideline. Who's that on? Let's go, Lily. Push it in, Lil. Get ready, Jada. Push it Here in, comes Lil. the Panthers. Lily Trainer with possession. Key here is just to keep moving, but it looks like Colleton's come to a bit of a standstill for the moment. Looking around the arc, here's Givens. Pass up behind the net. Really clustered to the far corner. Doesn't give him much chance to cut across, but oh, out, oh, it's a goal. And there's a goal by Hollis, and Kalen Trombley sneaks it through, and now we'll get a stoppage on the clock with the Hiller's lead. Going down to nine. Clock stopped at 14.37. Looks like they've kind of given up on any tactile player on the circle. Just going to the usual positions. Oh, if I was going to go to the far left, because it keeps flinging itself over there. Here we go. And Maggie Dolan really fighting for it there, but Halston is able to come up with it. Great passing by Halston. Oh, but Ooh, some contact. It's gonna be Hiller's ball. Yeah, Hiller's will have that. And that did look like Halston initiated the contact. Six cutting down, six has the ball. Nice spin there. Coming into the danger zone for Holliston, Lily York. Oh, great pass and oh, just didn't quite manage to get the shot. York out over to Rudden up behind the net. Now with possession, that's Calkins. Top of the arc. Kohler rushing in, or Connor rather, oh. out in front now. Didn't quite make the goal, but great teamwork by Hiller. Yeah, it was good teamwork getting it down to the arc, but they come up short, Halston with possession. Yeah, no, here we go now, let's go, let's push this up, Brent. Let's go, keep 
Closing in on 13 minutes left as Holliston rushing into Hiller's territory. Lily Trainer out in front, loose ball. And we'll get a whistle. Holliston with an opportunity here to make it an eight point game. Audrey Stock on the opportunity. Hiller can just cut across fast enough. They might be able to stop that. Oh, oh she's going to pass to her right to Lily Trainer. Oh, and that shot. was off the post, it looked like. Loose ball. Halston maintains possession. Is Shaughnessy able to pick it up? I don't know. What did you think of that move? I think she should have just went for the shot there. I think so. I think it would have been her best bet because Hiller was just not quite at the right angle to have stopped her. Behind the net. Rushing in. Shot in, it's and in. And that is in. That's a goal. Uh, Maggie Fitzgerald with her second goal. Makes it an eight point game. It's 14 to six. Clock stopped at 11.53. Goal by number 14, Maggie Fitzgerald. You know, there's still some time left in this game. The Hillers don't want to be too relaxed. Got to keep your foot on the gas against this Halston team. Certainly uh, getting a little breezy up here on the press box. But it has been a fun match so far today. Maggie Dolan in there for the Hillers. Here we go. Oh, Loose trying to ball. Scoop it up. Oh, Hiller grabs it out of the air. Cameron McDonald jumping up, pulling down the interception. Here's Olivia O'Connor. She's going to draw some contact. Olivia O'Connor, a couple Panthers in front of her. Feeds it to her left to the very reliable Lydia Rudden. Here's Tiffany McKillis, up top to Maggie Dolan. So Cameron McDonald's gonna kick it back out. Dolan rushing in. And we'll get a whistle here as uh, one of the Kalkins came across. What? Opportunity here for the Hillers. Maggie Dolan is going to uh, have the opportunity here. Got a couple halls done her way. The whistle right off the mark. Gets to retake the shot. She's going to take the shot, and it is going to go out of play. A little wide to the right there. Still going to be Hiller's ball. On the entry, Natalie Calkins. Out in front, looking to sneak it through is McCullis. Halston's gonna run it up the field. Oh, Panthers with the turnover, good pass down to Shaughnessy. Here comes Jada Shaughnessy and she draws some contact. Hillary's in a very good defensive position right now. Halston's gonna have to Move the ball around, oh. Ball is loose. Surrounded by Hiller as Hopkinton gets it back. Here comes McKillis. Tiffany McKillis with possession. Takes it across the blue line. Into the attacking zone. One thing here I think both teams could benefit from is, is they just have their whole team move more. Everybody kind of pauses. Panthers able to get it back, an errant pass. I believe from Lydia Rudd, and here comes Halston. 
Panthers are starting to run out of time. They got to get some scoring going if they want to get back in this game. An eight point Hiller's lead, 838 and counting left to go. Round the net, oh, looking for the shot, there good. it is. That's what the doctor ordered for the Panthers, Emma Sawyers. 14 to seven Hillers, three goals in a row for Holliston. And it looks like we'll have a timeout, and that's a smart timeout call by the Hillers coach, uh, Caitlin Barry, to talk things over and uh, try to get momentum back on your side. 8.31 left to go. The Hillers 14, Alliston 7. It is Hopkinton Hillers Girls Varsity Lacrosse on HCAM. Off the timeout, Hillers leading Holliston 14 to 7. We're in the second half, 8.31 left to go. The Hillers 8 and 8 trying to clinch a playoff spot. A terrific evening for senior night. And so far, things going the way the Hillers would like, but Halston, they have scored three straight. No answer yet from Hopkinton. Loose ball. Halston was a strong start, but I think Hillers just, yep, got to get that. Cameron McDonald is able to get to it. She drops it, knocked out. Holliston takes it back. Uh-oh, here comes Holliston. And yes. Jada Shaughnessy getting to it. Offsides Holliston, it looks like. Jada Shawnee to see with an opportunity here. Look behind the net to Strzok. Trying to sneak through a couple of defenders. The shot way over. Approaching seven minutes left. Hillers up by seven. 14 to seven game. Let's go, Lil, let's go. Olivia Givens possession as they work the top of the arc. Round the net. Good pickup by the Hillers oh. defenders. Hiller's and now it. we got a steal. It's Jada Shaughnessy was trying to look for someone out front. City McDonald said, nope, I'll take that. Sprinting it down the field. Great pass. Putting the pressure on McCulis. They'll just be able to or not to keep the momentum or pause around the goal. They're going to pause. Up top over to O'Connor. Dolan. Those could really benefit from just passing around for a while, kill some time. Yeah, exactly. No rush. Take that time off the clock. Can't say for sure, but I think that's what they're doing. Just passing around in a circle. Uh, Holliston trying to get a bit more aggressive, force them to do something. And they're just holding on to it. No rush on the shot. As you said, Alex, take that time off. Here's McDonald with possession. Pass to her right to Calkins. Oh, great and shot. That was Dolan, I believe, getting in for the goal. Maggie Dolan with her second goal today. Making it a 15-7 Hillers lead, back up to eight. Clock stopped at 5.33. Well, you can always bank on Maggie Dolan getting one or two goals before the night is over with. Yeah, 
The whole straight attack are just great tonight. That was a great possession by the Hillers. You burn a minute and a half off the clock and you get the goal. Can't beat it. Picked up by Lily Trainer. Some body contact there with Olivia O'Connor. Excuse me. Bless you. Allergy season. Austin with possession. Out in front. Get a whistle. I'm not really sure what that call was on. Probably just getting in the way of the ball. Shot. Shot. Wide to the left. Can I be Holliston's ball because they were closest to the off line, the back line. Holston getting a little more aggressive, but also a little more careless. Yeah, Dropped. they a big drop there, but they're able to keep possession. There's Lily Trainer. Out in front. Trying to sneak by a couple of defenders. Kicks it out, it's loose. Hillary's going after it, to the offside. Yes. Is it gonna be Holliston's ball? No. Oh. Holliston has a free shot, just gonna cut in. Hiller stopped the, oh, no, There's it's a goal. There's a goal. 15 to eight now. Still a healthy lead for the Hillers, but you got 358 left. And you know, Hollison's gonna be ultra aggressive to close out this game. They're not just gonna let this one go. That goal was by Kaylin Trombley. Goal by Kaylin Trombley. Here we go. Lily Trainer trying to establish possession. Holliston quick to get off the ground. She could benefit from just running it in. No. Behind the net. No one gonna sneak by. Halston, they need to rush this shot here if they want any chance of getting back into this game. You see, this is a big issue for the team. They just, when I, whoever doesn't have the ball or cutting, they tend to just dwaddle around a certain spot rather than consistently moving and trying to throw off their defense. Looking for the oh, shot here. Uh, yeah, that was a beauty by Lily Trainer. That's her second. Goal by number 17, Lily Trainer. Halston making a very good comeback. Fifteen to nine, three twelve left. This game not quite over yet. The Hillers, they need a big possession that just burns time off the clock. Oh, Halston quick to get it out of there. Shooting it down the field. Here comes Halston. They're gonna be quick oh. to shoot here. They're cutting, they're just getting in there. Oh. This trainer and we get a whistle on the shot, which oh, was a miss. Shot. Look where she is, Lily, look where she is. But the time is continuing to tick off the clock. And that shot wide to the right. Halston will have possession. Uh, on the entry. Oh, so close. Now we'll get behind the net. Sophie, let's talk now, Sophie. 
Halston trying to rush the shot here. Running out of time, approaching two minutes left. Lily Trainer looking for a shot. Trying to sneak by the defender. Looks like we might have a turnover here. I don't know. No, actually, Hollison will hold on to it. There it is. For the stoppage. 154 left. Rushing in, the shot, oh, no. Wide. Hollison gets to scoop it up, didn't go off. That works out for the Hillers though, keep that time burning. Oh my God. Very sensitive about getting in the way of the ball here at the goal. It's giving a Hollison a lot of chances. Here we go. And it's not in. Hiller out in front. It. Out of there. Come on, Halston. I think Halston just holding on to it too long here mm. with the amount of time left. They get goalie's ball. Yeah, great save by the goaltender. Got Lily go Trainer trying to sneak around, but Amanda Hasbrook saying, "Not in my house." Yeah. There's no one around the goalie. She can just take her time here. Just she can hold on to it the rest of the yeah. duration. As long as she wants. Why to. would she let it go? That's Stop. what she's gonna do, Halston. <laughs> How can you not put pressure on her? You still got yourselves a minute and fifteen to go. Anything's possible. I would have like just dodged around in that one area, just uh, hold on to it for a minute. I think the coach is gonna have a nice talking to with the team after that. <laughs> Forty-nine seconds left. Elizabeth Kohler goes to her left. Over to Hannah Ionelli. Some of the younger players in there for the Hillers to close out the last couple of minutes. Hollison's got the ball again. They got to run it down the field really fast, but that's not going to happen. Clock stopped at 30 seconds. The key here now is that Hiller just doesn't make too many fouls. Make sure Hollison doesn't get those extra chances to make the last goal or two. Hollison dropping it. Might be panicking a little bit. Dropped again. Wow, a lot of drops. Hiller just got to get it off there. Hollison, oh, Hiller's ball. Fantastic. Hillers have it, and they can pretty much end this game. They got seven seconds. Yeah, they just got to pass it around a bit. They're going to play it out, have some fun. Why not? Maybe uh, try a last minute shot. Oh. That's going to do it. The Hopkinton Hillers take the victory over the House and Panthers 15 and 9 on senior night. A terrific victory. The Hillers girls have clinched a tournament spot. They are now 9 and 8 on this season. What a great thing on a senior night to come off with a victory against a TVL opponent and clinch a tournament berth. It doesn't get any better than that. The Hillers defeat Holliston by a final score of 15 to nine. For Bob Hamilton on camera, my broadcast partner, Alex Walton, I'm Tom Nappy. We thank you for joining us for Hopkinton Hillers Girls Varsity Lacrosse on HCAM. Take care, enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll talk to you again soon.